your first instinct when you see a newborn the most precious human being on earth at times is to hold the baby at times you want to put your finger into the baby's hand as the baby grabs your finger you're so happy and you're so excited but there are some few things we need to remember when visiting newborns hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Shinne Tapishi. To all my returning subscribers, welcome. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the red button that says subscribe to subscribe. Please don't forget to click on the notification bell. The first one, don't smoke when preparing to go and carry a baby. When you smoke and you get there, the scent of the cigarette is still on you. You are the primary smoker and the baby is a secondary smoker. Cigarette is not good for the health of the baby. The baby's lung is still fragile. Avoid spreading strong perfumes. At times when people come and carry the baby and the leaf, their perfume seems to remain on the baby because the perfume they sprayed was a strong one and the mother of the baby might not like this. Number two, don't go if you are sick. If in course of preparing to go and visit a baby you fall sick, kindly call the mother or the father and say, I'm sorry, I will not be able to come. I fell sick. Reason being, the baby is very fragile and is vulnerable to illnesses. You can go there and transmit your disease to the baby. Number three, please avoid kissing the baby. Some people, when they come to visit the baby, they kiss the baby on the forehead or on the cheeks, it's not allowed, please. There are so many illnesses outside. You can be transmitting one to the baby unknowingly. Ladies go with lipsticks and they are kissing the baby. Please, let's stop that. Number four, don't take pictures of the baby. If you want to take a picture, ask the mother's permission. Don't just go and take a baby and start taking pictures to post on social media or to share with other people. The mother might not be comfortable with this. Five, don't speak directly into the baby's face. At times, since we are so happy to see the newborn, we spend our whole entire time speaking directly into the baby's face. Please, let's stop that. It's not healthy for the baby. Six, wash your hands or use disinfectant. Don't just carry a baby without washing your hands or using disinfectant. The mother might not be courageous enough to tell you, maybe because she doesn't want to make you angry or she doesn't want to make you to feel bad, but it's advisable for you to use disinfectants before carrying a newborn baby because you touch germs everywhere and the baby is still very new into the world. You don't want to transmit, to transmit any germs to the baby from your hand. Seven, don't be insensitive. Avoid telling horror stories. Moms who have just given birth are emotionally sensitive. For instance, you can start telling them, my neighbor had a baby and the baby died after five months. Nobody wants to hear that. Or you start saying, maybe the baby is not going to be sleeping at night because my friend had a baby and the baby didn't sleep at night for six months. Please don't say that. Eight, don't criticize or give unsolicited advice. Moms who have just given birth and need your support, try to hold your tongue, try to support them, let them be strong, say something good to them. Look at the great thing they have, look at the baby they have brought to the world and you can praise them. Nine, do not put money directly into the baby's hand. The act you're doing is good by giving money, but putting money directly into the baby's hand is wrong. You know the money can have gems. And you don't want to transfer the gems to the baby we all know when money is exchanging hands the money becomes dirty you can give the money to the caretaker or to the parents of the baby 10. do not overstay during your first visit make sure you don't overstay your welcome don't stay for so long if you are not an immediate family member if you are an immediate family member you can help around with the baby while the mother relaxes she can take a nap while you are taking care of the baby 11. do not ask how did you give birth 
Was it through CS? Was it naturally? All we want is a healthy baby. As mother and baby are doing fine, we are happy. Please don't ask people that. Because even if the baby was given birth through CS or naturally, none of the above makes the mother less of a mother. She is a mother because she is the one who has brought the baby into the world. Don't be too inquisitive when you go to visit. Swerve. Always go with a gift. When going to see a newborn, it's not advisable to go with your bare hands as is usually referred to in my tradition. You are advised to go with a gift. You can buy a gift for the baby. You can cook food for the house. But don't go empty-handed. It's not advisable, please. Number 13. You don't need to go immediately. If it's not your close friend or a family member, you can go after some time. Because after a woman gives birth, she needs some time to recover. And she don't, at times people don't want visitors immediately. If it's your close friend, you can go immediately and come back. It depends on the relationship you are having with the person. Number 14. Don't comment on the size of the baby. Most people come as they carry the baby, they start commenting the baby is so fat, the baby is so tiny. My dear, you are not there for that. Some people go to the extent of telling you the baby is so dark. If a black person gives birth to a baby, which color are you expecting the baby to have? It's a black baby. So don't say the baby is black because that is the color of the baby. At times, do you want the baby to be white? No. So please don't comment on the size of the baby. Don't compare the baby with other babies you've seen before. This new baby is unique in his or her own way. Number 15. Do not give the newborn baby to toddlers to carry. At times when people are coming to visit a baby, they come along with their toddlers and they are giving the baby to the toddler. For instance, back home in Cameroon, a lady brought her little son to come and visit a newborn. As she got there, she was giving the baby to her son. The son was so surprised to see the baby. There were so many things that were going on in his mind and the baby almost fell. We can't blame the little toddler. He is not able to carry the baby, so please let's stop that. Also, avoid waking the baby up in the name of carrying. If you come to visit a baby and the baby is sleeping, please don't wake the baby up saying you want to carry the baby. Number 16. Help around. If you come to visit and you see the mother of the baby needs help, why not offer to help? Help her to clean if she needs that. If she needs someone to cook for her, do that for her. If she is comfortable, you're there to visit the baby. Offer her that service. Number 17. Check up on the father of the house. When a baby is born, the father of the house becomes the errand boy. He is the one doing most things for the house. Just ask him, how are you doing? Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please click on the red button that says subscribe. I have noticed many people are watching without subscribing. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video with everyone around you. Tell everyone to subscribe. Stay blessed. God loves you. Bye-bye.